Okay, today I want to talk about uh, your pause and practice uh, 4-4 for access in your SimBook, uh, and it's also in Moodle. Um, this particular project will require you to go into your SimBook and uh, follow the directions there, work the uh, uh, particular exercise, and then upload it to Moodle. Now, for this particular pause and practice, we're going to edit a report. Uh, based on a parameter query, and we're going to modify that report to add grouping and conditional formatting to it. Uh, the file that we're going to need here for this particular project is the file that's out on your um, Access data files on Moodle called Central Sierra 04-PP4-4, and it is an Access uh, database. Um, and then uh, when we complete this particular project, you'll upload that to Moodle for grading. So let's go ahead and, uh, and open that file, and I've opened it here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on File, and I'm going to rename it. Let me pull the file back up again. It closed on me. All right, and so let me go ahead and do a Save As, and let's do the Save Database As and do a Save As here, and go ahead and uh, let it go out to uh, my memory stick. Uh, here and let me click on that and go to the access module that I, where I save everything uh, and then I'm going to call this uh, my initials PPA 4-4 I've already done it once so I'm going to go ahead and click on it and save it and replace the file and it's going to open up the file for me and now we are ready to go with this particular project um, in this case, we have the database open, and if we look on the All Access Objects and Navigation pane, you can see we have tables, uh, queries. Uh, we have one query here under the Queries category. We have one report under the Reports category as well. So now we are, if you're following along, we're at step number four. We're going to double-click the Employees Branch Parameter Query. So let me go ahead and do that. And it is a parameter query, so it presents us with a box to add a value here. We're going to leave it blank. We're going to click OK. And that's going to produce this particular uh, query uh, on the screen for us. Okay. Now this particular query uh, is one that we used to create the report that's down here in the report category. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and close uh, this particular query and I'm going to double click and open the report. Uh, it is a parameter based on a parameter because it's uh, also based on this queries parameter. So it's going to open up a parameter dialog again. We're going to leave it blank and click OK here. All right, so now that opens up the report for us. Uh, the report name is Employees Branch Parameter Report, and the title is the Employees by Branch. Now, if you're following along again, we're going to add grouping to this report. So we're going to open up the report, uh, which we did, and now we're going to click on the Group and Sort button. Uh, and to do that, what we need to do is we need to get into um, the area on the report that allows us to do that. We need to get into Layout View. So let's click on View, and let's go to Layout View. That's going to open up this Report Layout uh, Tools uh, grouping for us here. Uh, the tab, and then we're going to be uh, clicking on the uh, Design tab here, and then we're going to come over to the Group and Sort button under Grouping and Totals. We're going to click it, and that's going to open up this area down below called the Group, Sort, and Total area. We're going to be adding a group, so we're going to click on the Add a Group, and we're going to add that group grouping for this report based on the branch um, column. So let's click on Branch. And so we're uh, grouping this report by branch. And as you can see, when we did that, it did group the report here by branch. Uh, so we have Cameron Park, and then we have the information under Cameron Park, and then next we have Folsom, and we have information under that, etc., etc. Now that we've completed that, let's go ahead and close this area, clicking the X here off to the right, and close it for us here. All right, so after we've done that, now we are up to step number eight. We're going to add conditional formatting to this report. So we're going to click on any salary here in the base salary grouping. Um, uh, it can be under this group or this group, but it's on the in this particular column. So let's just click on the very first one here. Uh, and then we're going to click on um, the 
the next area that we need to get to, which is in the format. And then underneath Format tab, there is a conditional formatting button under Control Formatting Group. So let's click that. This brings up here the uh, conditional formatting rules manager for us. We're going to click on the new rule and we're going to make sure that it's set to check values in the current record or use an expression rather than the one below it which is compared to other records. Uh, down here in this area is the where we're going to edit the rule that we're creating and the field value here uh, is this base monthly salary since that's what we selected here okay and so now what we want to do is we want to select the down arrow here on the uh, criteria and we want to select greater than or equal to and then we want to put in a value of ten thousand here so we're looking at any base monthly salary greater than or equal to ten thousand we're going to uh, uh, preview this particular uh, conditional formatting by bolding any selection that meets this criteria and we're also going to color it uh, the color red so we're going to choose a font color of red so bold and red color and then we're going to click OK here and then now we we're going to review this rule and the rule we created was show formatting rules for the base monthly salary where the value is greater than or equal to 10,000 and we're going to format it as bold and red so we can see that in the preview area that looks good for us. We're going to apply this rule and then we're going to click OK and close that screen. Now you can see over in the base monthly salary column that any particular base monthly salary in excess of $10,000 is going to be bolded and red color. Okay. So the last thing we need to do now is we need to preview the way the report is going to look when we print it here. So let's come up to the tab for this report, right click on it, and let's look at print preview. All right, and so uh, this is the first screen that we see. We're going to click the zoom button here, and we're going to set that to set to fit to window. And then in the fit to window, we can see exactly what it's going to look like when it prints out. All right, so that looks good. All right, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to save this report. So we're going to right click and save it and then we're going to close the report so we're going to right click and close it alright and now that we've done that we're going to file and close the database and this completes the exercise for access uh, 4-4 uh, for chapter 4-4